Good morning and happy hump day. It is Wednesday already. Where does the time go? I feel like the older you get, the faster it flies. Um, I guess because it's relevant, right? Anyway, I wanted to get on here and talk about um, my continuing my continuing talk on motivation, procrastination, um, planning, something that I've gotten really, really good at. So I went back to school a few years ago and with working full time and, you know, going to meetings and taking care of my recovery and, and um, you know, taking care of myself and self-care in school and the homework and all that stuff that, that was bombarding me and overwhelming me. I had to learn to, to balance it all, right? To get it all to fit. And one of the best things that helped me, I'm a visual person, so writing it down and, and sorting it out, but, um, you know, planning, prioritizing, and waking up a little bit earlier. So, you know, I, I remember years ago, I used to work the second shift. I was not a morning person. I wouldn't wake up before nine o'clock. Um, on the weekends, it'd probably be even later, probably more like, uh, well, my days off, I shouldn't say, because I think I worked on the weekends. Um, but anyway, it, so it took me a little bit when I went to first shift to, to adjust to that, right? And um, and I had to. I was kind of like forced to. But when I um, decided I was going to do my online business and, and um, you know, my courses and develop my courses and, and now my coaching... Um, I had to find a way to fit it all in and I found that and this is just for me but I found that um, I was better in the morning than I was at the end of the day so um, it took me a little bit to wake up but once I was up my clarity my my energy level it was there by the end of the day after you know work or school or what have you I was pretty much spent and like even the days I went to the gym, um, it was even more so and <laughs> more tired. So um, I had to figure out a way to fit it in because I working on my online business, it, it's a lot of mental energy, you know. I, I needed I needed that, um, and so I decided what I was going to do. I was going I was going to wake up earlier um, to get ready in the morning, and. I did that gradually because I struggled with getting up in the morning earlier. So what I did was I um, I got up 15 minutes earlier and I did that for a couple of weeks. Ooh, where are all these cars coming from? Um, I did that for a couple of weeks and then I did even 15 minutes earlier than that and then 15 minutes earlier than that. Um, it took me a little bit, but eventually I got to the point where I could wake up um, quarter of four, and that would give me enough time to, you know, I, I wake up at quarter of four. I, I, for a while, I was waking up at four o'clock, um, but I found that I needed like 15 minutes to wake up, um, you know, ha make my coffee, have some coffee, and whatnot. And so, quarter of four it was, or is. Um, and it gave me enough time to wake up, have my coffee, do my meditation, and then work on my online business. So I, I meditate for about a half hour, um, 45 minutes depending, and then I have about an hour to, to work on my online business before I have to get ready for work. Um, and it seems to work. Um, what this relates to motivation is, you know, I don't always like to get up at quarter four. Actually, most days I don't like to get up at quarter four. And so what motivates me is, you know, thinking about um, my goals and what it is that I want to accomplish and what it is I want to do. So I want to um, have a, a, a successful online business. I want to have successful in my courses and coaching. Um, and I really, really want that. I really, really want that um, to be able to help a lot of people, as many people as I can, and, um, you know, 
get my name out there, get 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 um, get moving, let people know about my what it is that I do, and um, have that freedom, you know, because eventually I would like to do that full time and have that freedom of being able to work anywhere, right? Because it'd be online, so I could bring my laptop and work from anywhere, um, and not have to drive and. <laughs> And with the gas prices going up, I wish I was there already. Um, but so that's that is my why, and that's what I have to remind myself to get to get motivated. I don't necessarily go through all of that in the morning. In the morning, what it is is I just got to get myself out of bed because once I'm out of bed, I'm good. I'm moving right. And so Mel Robbins has this wonderful strategy, which I utilize that I and. It's helped me out, and it's called the five, four, three, two, one, or is it the five second rule, or something like that? <laughs> I don't even know. I forgot. But anyways, it's it's counting back from five, and then acting. And so, when you're in a habit, you're in this automatic loop of you know, um, not even like thinking. You just you just do. And in order to break that habit, if it's a bad habit. Um, you know, you gotta, you gotta act, you gotta move, right? And I've talked about this before, like motivation happens after you take action, not before. You don't get motivated and then do something. You do something and then you get the motivation. And so five, four, three, two, one, feet on the floor. That's what I do. Five, four, three, two, one, feet on the floor and then just do it. Just get up, just move. Don't have this conversation, don't have this argument, don't have these excuses. And I've gotten better at it. Believe me, I, I, I fall short. There's not, it doesn't happen as smoothly as I'm making it sound, right? There are times I struggle um, more than others, you know? Um, but when I find myself, and this whole mindful thing, mindfulness thing that I talk about in my other videos um, is really helpful because I've become in tune my, in, with my thoughts. And so I become mindful when I'm starting to play those old tapes or um, you know, make those excuses or rationalize or, or, you know, procrastinate, right? Or I'll do that later. I'll do it after work. No, you won't. You're exhausted after work. You don't want to do that stuff after work. And so, and plus you have other things to do after work. Um, and so as soon as I hear my thoughts, making those excuses, five, four, three, two, one, feet on the floor, right? And I might have to do that several times. And da, 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 the voices in my head. Five, four, th feet on the floor. Five, four, three, two, one. Feet on the floor. Five, four, three, two, one. Feet on the floor. And if I have to do that a thousand times, I have to do it a thousand times to get myself out of bed. Um, I, I usually don't have to do it a thousand times, but you get my drift. Um, anyways, I hope this has helped you. I hope you have a wonderful day. Um, if you like my videos, please hit the subscribe button. I've got a lot of great other videos out there on all kinds of topics relating to helping women in recovery live their best lives. Um, and so I know I didn't get sober to be miserable. And so I've learned some, some skills um, that can help better my life. I better my life each and every day. And my purpose, my mission is, is to help others too. So I hope this has helped you. Um, if you want, you can also follow me on Facebook and Instagram under Recovery Enthusiast or Doreen Cunha, that's C-U-N-H-A. Um, let's see, what else? Oh, my website, recoveryenthusiast.com. I got some freebies on there. And yeah, stay tuned. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be doing a five-day challenge and I'm putting it together, so I'm not really sure exactly what that's gonna look like, but keep watching my videos. Stay tuned for more information. Um, and did I already tell you this? Make sure you tell the people that you love, that you love them. Send them that text, give them that call, give them a great big hug every chance you get. And until next time, guys, peace.